Hallelujah. Sit. Well, I am here. Isn't that a great thing? Yes, it is. Well, before I take my text, I'm reminded on today of a piece of bad news that I received on this week. It seems that one of our brothers that we love very dearly here at Having Your Way Temple has been killed. Mm, okay, okay. Brother Thomas. Yeah. That's right, sister. Got to go. Got to go. Right. <laughs> However, that news is not as bad as we may think. For Brother Thomas is rejoicing with the angels in heaven. Well, how do you know that, Brother Pastor? I hear you ask me that question with my spiritual ear. As I looked over the books on this week, I found that Brother Thomas was paid up on his top. Well, Sit. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor pay your tithes, pay your tithes and, see Jesus. and see Jesus. Do you believe it today? I am also reminded today, as I often am when I am speaking, I am reminded. that on this week, the Lord spoke with me, as we do. And he told me, Isaiah, I want you to become closer to your congregation. I said, well, I can do that. I said, Lord, my first step will be just simply to have them call me by my initials. No more Pastor Isaiah M. Wonderful. Just simply call me I am wonderful. For I am wonderful. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Now, as I move forward, as I usually do when I'm speaking, I move forward. I want you to know, saints, that pastor has gone through on this week. The storms of life have raged and the billows have tossed high. Yes, 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 yes. But in the midst of all of that water, there is one song that stuck with me like glue. And I want you to keep this song with you all week. It simply says in the key of F sharp. Please piece her together. Row, row your boat.
gently down the street. Merrily, 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 merrily. Well, I learned that run on this week and I thought I'd share it with you. Do you like it? I think I'll keep it in my run repertoire. La is bad. I know you're wondering if I can hit this last note. Don't you love a pastor with range? It's 75% the way there. Well, do you have your Bibles? Well, here at Habit Your Way Temple, I teach my people to hide their word in their heart. So, if I can get our first lady, the very lovely Charmaine, wonderful, to look into her heart for her heart-buried Bible and turn to the book of First John. She's got it. Flip down with your spiritual eye and find me chapter four. Got it. If I can get you to go just a little bit further, read for me verses seven and then verse eight. Beloved, let us love one another. What does that mean, brother pastor? I again hear you ask me that with my spiritual ear. Well, if I should call you on the phone and say, love me, oh well. Read. For love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God. Everyone that loveth is born of God. Do you believe that today? Yeah. Everyone that loveth is born of God. I think I'll tune up in the key of F sharp. If you don't love, you cannot be born of God. I said, if you don't love, you cannot be born of God. If you don't love, you cannot be born of God. Say yes. Well, I want you to carry that message with you this week. I toiled many hours over what to bring my congregation. And I believe that's what the Lord gave me. He said, Isaiah, don't break a sweat. I said, yes, obey. Well, I think the time has come where shape, form, and fashion 
you know we don't believe in that here. But there's one piece in there that I particularly like, fashion. I thought about fashion on this week and I went out and I bought this red piece. Do you like it? Is it gorgeous? For those of you who are visiting us on today, you may not be accustomed to such deepness in one service. But that's all right. Let us open the doors of the church. I'm about to feel this thing. Oh. Well. Who would you say you are? She said, saints, that she lives across the street, apparently in a house that I've never seen before. But if she wants to get her life together, she's in the right place. Is that right? That's right. That's right. Well, sister, let me ask you one of the more pertinent questions. And please form your answer in the form of a question. Do you have a job? You say what? No. What does that have to do with you? Oh. Oh. Well, <laughs> the daughter said she does not have a job. Daughter, listen to me. If you do not have a job, then you cannot pay your tithe. That's right, that's right, that's right. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. Pay your tithe. Pay your tithe. And see Jesus. And see Jesus. What I want you to do, daughter, is search for that job. And when you find it, come back, and I will lead you personally down the road of salvation. Put your hands together and give up praises. Excuse me, Reverend oh Wonderful. But all this young woman needs is Christ. As a matter of fact, that's what all you need. Contrary to what my brother-in-law believes, it is not your works that save you. Don't you all know that? The Bible says that in the last days, many prophets shall rise up and deceive. People will be caught up in fornication, adultery, Drugs, hatred, and malice, all in the name of God. Look, look at the wars, people. Famine, pestilence, earthquakes, and floods. These are the signs that the Son of Man is coming. Listen to me, people. Listen. Whether you believe it or not, Christ is coming back. And just as sure as there's a heaven, you can be sure that there's a hell. And Isaiah, I'm shocked at you. Don't you know that her blood will be required at your hands? And Charmaine, you're my sister, and you know better. What is wrong with you people? Don't you hear the message? Can't you heed to the message that you should be heeding to? Don't you understand that God is coming back? Oh, here she goes singing again like she in some movie or something. Oh, God. Musicians, do not play. Do you really love me? I cry for you. Thank you. 